Hey, Jason. Obviously, it would have been nice to go up 3-0 and, and maybe close the series out early, but what can you say that the way that this series unraveled maybe taught you guys that you'll be able to use in the future rounds that you'll play? Um, you know, like I said earlier, I got to tip my hat off to Toronto. Um, you know, they're the defending champs. Um, they got a lot of heart, and they, they made us earn that. And I think um, when you're trying to achieve something – so as special as winning a championship, um, you're gonna have to go through some things, uh, some heartbreaks, uh, some tough moments, uh, a lot of adversity, and um, just see how you respond. And I think we responded really well from almost being up 3 0 um, to being tied 2 2 to 3 3 and coming into a must win game. Um, it was big, and you know, I think it's just gonna continue to, to help us moving forward. Abby Chen. Jason, you talk about the way you guys responded. How much for you, I mean, going back to the Eastern Conference Finals for the second year or second time in three seasons, how much for you and those experiences in the past have helped you in this playoff run? Uh, I mean, it's a little bit different being in the bubble, but um, still the playoffs. And that's my third game seven I've played in. Fortunate enough to win two of those. And uh, like you said, be back in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, you know, I know how, how tough it was when we lost my rookie year. Uh, you know, everybody doesn't get a, get, get this opportunity. Uh, you know, it, you don't take it for granted. And, uh, you know, it's a special. There's four teams left. So, um, you know, take some time off because this was a tough one. Um, just get ready. Jared Weiss. They were doing a pretty good job of forcing you into some tough shots, and then you just kind of kept grinding away over the course of the fourth quarter and started to really find your looks. What? How difficult is it to kind of be able to just keep trying to push the defense to its breaking point until you eventually win that battle? Uh, I mean, it's game seven. You know, you got to give it all you got. You know, you don't want to leave that game and, and think about what if or what I could have done. Um, leave it all on the floor. And uh, I think that's what we did tonight. Uh, you're going to make some mistakes, but, you know, we left it all on the floor and, you know, the, the result we won. Brian Robb. Jason, you guys actually only made a shot for the last uh, five and a half uh, minutes of that game. Like, how how do you guys grind it out there? What was key besides, um, you know, just getting the stops defensively? Um, I mean, we had no choice. Get a stop. We, we turned. I turned the ball over. Uh, we missed some some shots. Uh, and it was. I mean, you just gotta pull your shorts up and and grind and defend. You know, get a stop, rebound. Um, don't make excuses. It's four four or five minutes left. You know, it's winning time. You do it. Do whatever it takes. Question in person, Gary Washburn. Not score field over the last five and a half minutes. You know, guys missed a couple free throws, and just the, the grind. You mentioned the grind this game out against one of the grindiest teams, a team that prides itself on outworking the opponent, and to outwork them, and out hustle and make plays. Like how rewarding is that? It, it wasn't pretty, and that was, it was it was ugly, but you guys got it done. Uh, I mean that's that's what it takes sometimes. Uh, you know we. We pride ourselves on playing hard and, and competing, and Toronto is, is, is the same. So, um, you know, neither one of us was going to back down. And um, it's just who wanted it more, who, who could make a, a bigger play, whether it was smart getting the block or the offensive rebound I got, um, just finding a way to impact the game. Julio Montenegro. Hi, Jason. Why should we consider the Boston Celtics the favorite team to win the Easter Conference Finals? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have to answer that for that. I mean, for you guys, um, I know we always think we're gonna win every game we play. Um, you know, we didn't come down here just for the first or second round. Uh, you know, we didn't really pay attention to the outside noise, you know, whether we were favored or not. Um, you know, that doesn't matter to us. 
It's all about the guys in that locker room. And, you know, we know what we're capable of. And, um, you know, we're just going to go out there and, and, and do it.